Hey guys, thank you for joining me on today. I'm Sandra Burnett. I want to ask you a question. Are you experiencing sensitive scalp issues? Can it be treated at home? Well, today I'm going to talk about sensitive scalp issues. What is it? And give you some natural remedies to treat sensitive scalp issue. So if you're interested in this video, I definitely want you to keep on watching. Keep telling friends and neighbors about my channel because guys, I've been telling you I'm working on 100,000 subscribers and I'm almost there. And I want to thank you so much for sharing my channel with others. So remember to subscribe. I want you to keep those comments coming. Click that notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Now let's get busy. Now guys, I want to give a disclaimer. I am not a doctor, and if you have prolonged sensitive scalp issues, please, you want to report it to your doctor. What is sensitive scalp issues? Sensitive scalp issues is when your scalp is tender to the touch, or maybe you have like stinging or filling needles or burning on the scalp. Your scalp also can be painful while you're trying to comb your hair. Some of the causes of sensitive scalp issues. Now it could be related to medical conditions, allergic reaction, even seasonal changes. Some of us experience hair and scalp changes as the weather changes from like summer when it's really hot and humid or even winter when it's cold and dry. So as the season changes, it can in effect the level of moisture causing scalp health issues even styling tools such as hair dryers hair straighteners product built up dirty hair like some of us wear headbands or even tight hairstyles one time when I was on vacation and I had twisted my hair and I had put it up in a ponytail and all of a sudden about maybe three days later I noticed that my scalp was very very painful to the touch very sensitive and I was experiencing sensitive scalp issues at that moment because I had left my hair up into like a pony for a while so we got to be very careful with our hairstyles now to avoid sensitive scalp issues proper hair care routine is very important so we want to make sure that we keep our scalp clean keep our hair clean using our favorite shampoo and then also don't forget to deep condition your hair and then massage your scalp all three of these it plays a very important role in having a healthy scalp so let's talk about some of the natural ways to treat sensitive scalp. Now, coconut oil, many of us have used coconut oil down through the years. Coconut oil is actually good for the hair and for the scalp. It helps to fight off, it helps to kill the spread of bacteria. So what you can do is take yourself some coconut oil and put it into your favorite shampoo, and then you would apply it to your hair and to your scalp, massaging your hair really good, and then just wash it out now here's another way to treat sensitive scalp issues aloe vera juice so if you're having like sores or achy scalp aloe vera juice actually helps to alleviate itchiness burning that you may have It's also good for moisture so here's what you need to do you want to get yourself an application bottle and you want to put aloe vera juice in it then you want to apply it to listen freshly wash hair and then massage it gently into your hair now you could leave the aloe vera juice in your hair or you can wash it out some people would prefer to wash it out because they don't want built up now remember I told you that it's very, very important to keep your scalp clean. So if you need to like clarify sensitive scalp issues, use apple cider vinegar. It helps to like dissolve the dirt and oil on the scalp and it does not dry out the scalp. It also helps to balance the pH of the scalp. So how do you do this? You would take yourself an application bottle Add in one third of apple cider vinegar to two thirds of water. Shake the mix up really good and then just apply it to your hair. Massage your hair gently for about 
five or ten minutes and there you have it and rinse it out now let's talk essential oils many people don't know but essential oils are great for relieving sensitive scalp issues but I do recommend that you do a patch test before using essential oils to treat sensitive scalp issues to avoid scalp irritation so here's an essential oil lavender oil lavender oil not only smell good but it has ingredients in it to fight off and kill bacteria so what you want to do is take yourself eight to ten drops of lavender oil and you want to take two tablespoons of a carrier oil it could be coconut oil it could be olive oil and then you want to take that oil and you want to massage it into your scalp take about six to eight minutes massaging it and then allow the oil to sit on your scalp for about 15 minutes then wash your hair with your favorite shampoo the final essential oil that I want to talk about today is tea tree oil. It's very effective in reducing scalp pain caused by dryness and dandruff. All you need to do is take three drops of tea tree oil and you want to take two tablespoons of any carrier oil. You want to take that oil and massage it into your scalp. You can do this like twice a week. Now you can also add tea tree oil to like your shampoo, your conditioner, but I do want to say you want to check the label of your conditioner or shampoo to make sure that tea tree oil is not in there because too much can cause scalp irritation. Guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me on today. I want you to remember to subscribe, click that notification button so that you can be notified when I post new videos. Remember, give me a thumbs up. Keep those comments coming and tell me how you've been enjoying my videos. I love, love, love you guys. Bye guys.